What's up guys, Peter here back with another video. So there are so many people that make a lot of mistakes when building your player and this is going to be uh, the mistakes that people make when building their center and what not to do when you build your center in NBA 2K17. Centers and point cards are definitely the two most common positions for NBA 2K17. So I thought I would make this. And there are just some things all centers must have in common regardless of their archetype, unlike point guards where it does vary based on their archetype. So make sure you guys smash that like button down below see if we can hit 500 likes and if you are new to the channel make sure you guys subscribe for more daily nba 2 get 17 content and let's get right into it okay so again this does apply to all of the center's archetypes so all of them right here i'm just gonna pick glass cleaner for now this is probably the biggest mistake i see people do with their centers they'll just be like uh centers you know most centers in the nba they're around what, seven feet six eleven something like that i'll just make him uh seven feet that's probably the biggest mistake, and some people know better. Like, people, even in 2K16, you're not supposed to make a center uh, like this, and people know that, but there's some people that still do this, and this is probably the biggest mistake. You must always make your center 7 foot 3. That is the optimal height to making your center because regardless of what archetype you are you will always have the job of rebounding the ball because either in park when you are actually playing the biggest position even in prime if you're playing the second to biggest position like the power four position your team is still relying on you to get rebounds and the most effective way and the most important part about rebounding is to be seven foot three so make sure you do this regardless of what archetype you are when you are building a center okay so next thing you should definitely max out your wingspan and this applies to just more than seven but I did want to include this into the video because obviously a center is part of that but people still make this mistake and especially when you're protecting the paint getting rebounds stuff like that even with a guard you should still max out your wingspan it has so many benefits and if you try it out trust me it'll be worth it the shooting sacrifice is very little and you'll barely notice it as long as you're taking good open shots you will tend to make them okay so the next thing your weight especially stretch bigs i see them put this all the way down they're like oh well it makes my speed go up i should put it all the way down that is definitely not what you should be doing i wouldn't put it any lower than 275 and that's like pushing it. i mean it really does depend on what archetype you have uh what the best weight is i mean stretch bigs they can probably be a way lower weight than the glass cleaner archetype so if you want to see what the best weights are for specific center archetypes make sure you guys check out my best player builds and nba 2k17 playlist because that will give you the specifics but just right here do not minimize your weight uh you will be getting body in the paint and you do not want to have that on your center and as always you should max out your shoulder width i made a video all about uh why you should max out your shoulder width and what it really does for your player that's about it thank you guys for watching let me know if you knew some of these in the comment section below because that's really good for you and you probably made a good center build again make sure you guys smash that like button down below and subscribe if you're new and i'll talk to you guys in the next one peace hey.